Hello friends and welcome to my YouTube channel Simply Stocks and today I'm going to talk about the sugar industry a lot of demand had come in uh, to analyze this industry and the sector as a whole and what do I uh, think of the sector so let's understand that let's get started first of all a disclaimer that this is not a stock recommendation and people taking any position to any share that I talk about should do that with their own due diligence and research and I am not in favor or against any company that I talk about. Before I talk about the sugar industry, here's a small request that kindly support me on Patreon and once you do that, it will help me grow the channel, help you also ask me questions on a daily basis. Once you get the $10 membership, you'll have uh, access to my portfolio, my watch list and you can ask me questions every day at any time and I'm virtually online all the time on Patreon. Plus you have access to a lot of podcasts that I put up, articles on different sectors and stocks and whichever stocks I feel like that is going to go up or going to do well I put up a podcast immediately it is easy to put up a podcast in a total video here and that's why I like uh, patreon so kindly join that membership and uh, have it for a couple of months and just see if you get benefits out of it or not uh, and uh, let's see how it goes and if you want a complete analysis on a number of stocks that you are holding say 20 30 stocks 15 20 25 stocks you can directly email me and we can work thing out on a whatsapp call uh, all right now about the sector the sugar industry have always been a trading play so uh, what has happened is over the years over the last 12 13 years and uh, i have just analyzed uh, about the charts for the last three years i have been analyzing how the sugar industry have been working three four years so in 2003 to 8 bull run the sugar industry also did well and it was from the doldrums of 2005 and till 2007 that the move came in for a year or about 15 months uh, another cycle uh, so basically the sugar industry just like the you can say the rubber industry or any other commodities it is a commodity cyclical driven uh, you can say sector so this cycle normally takes around 8 10 years to come back and it is of one 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 or two years and it is pretty big the the rally is like vertical in in nature so what we are seeing in api pharma what we are seeing in diagnostics and some of the smaller diagnostic companies that i told you is the same thing that happens so with other you can say commodity stocks also so sugar had a run in 2005 till 2007 it had another run between 2016 to 2018 and that was a huge run so from 2016 october november i remember around diwali the run began in stocks like mawana sugar dhampur balrampur etc especially mawana and dhampur and and it went on till 2018 jan feb so probably about uh, 15 16 months and then it did peter out but did not uh, did not like uh, decimate the stocks which which i thought it would and i'll give you the reasons why it did not decimate the stocks and why the stocks are still reasonably up from those levels of 2015-16 some of the stocks are at least up so it has although evaporated wealth of retail investors over years so i have never liked the sector to tell you categorically uh, i like the consumer sector the pure consumer play without debt and something that can continuously go up four five six eight ten years um, it is mostly a cycle of a decade with one sharp surge so basically in eight to ten years there's one sharp surge of year year and a half that you have to get in and get out and most probably you will get out early rather than getting out uh, you can say late or you will get out late you cannot time this so what has changed government ha has announced number of support measures for the sugar industry and this has been going on for the last two three years so this government has done really well for for some of the industries especially the sugar industry and have announced a lot of sops for them and that has helped a lot of companies second thing is the crushing season will begin from next month so if you want to get into the sugar stocks probably august is the month on major fall if the market falls august is extremely bad for the markets i have seen over the years 
uh, if there is a sharp downside in the stocks you can get in if you are a big risk taker you can get into these stocks and and do reasonably well going forward uh, probably for a, a surge till january february and that surge could be 30 40 percent 80 percent 70 100 percent i don't know but the period to get in is probably second half of august or early august and keep it till january and probably sell in december and january that could be the best bet i can give and i am not a very professional player in this commodity play i can tell you that uh, the sugar prices are stable even though the demand has really served over the last three four months because of uh, the pandemic etc but still things are stabilizing and that is a positive sign uh, gra greater demand has kicked in with ethanol uh, demand and other byproducts uh, which are required by the government so ethanol production has been ramped up by most of the sugar companies and that is where uh, a better amount of or a good amount of revenue is set to come in and that is where things have changed for the sugar industry before ethanol production was only five to ten percent of the total production and they were looking at making uh, probably sugar uh, at most but now things are changing and things are changing rapidly and that is where i think uh, the stock prices are stabilizing uh, around where they are at the moment although domestic demand may remain subdued uh, because of the obvious reasons i just explained still global demand is picking up so global demand hit a trough probably in april and may because of uh, all the things that has uh, that have played out but now it is also picking up with bakeries opening with with other companies or confectionaries etc and and hotels opening globally and globally things becoming normal to us uh, to to an extent uh, demand for sugar would would increase as well so export uh, would begin and export will begin in earnest or probably from this season onwards so that is also a positive some of the companies to look at uh, in this uh, sector Dhampur, Mawana, Triveni and Balrampur these four are very good uh, you can say trading plays so you can look at the charts and analyze and, and find out as to how to go about buying it uh, probably Mawana sugar is one I have liked in terms of the charts uh, but uh, really the company the better company in this is Balrampur and then Dhampur these two are really good if you look if you talk about the uh, ethanol play then Triveni is a big player on ethanol because of their better production into alcohol etc so Triveni is up there uh, but I would prefer to go with EID Perry and uh, Dalmia Bharat because they are stable players less debt compared to other companies and probably what what you need to look at is uh, uh, that the companies would continue to make uh, good profits because they have less debt on the books and they don't have to repay a lot of amount uh, for their factories etc that that have been doing virtually nothing for April and May so if you are a long term player if you really want to be long term into sugar then these two companies are good although they don't surge that much if you want short term plays then do check the charts etc i am not giving you any levels uh, but i would say triveni engineering and dhampur sugar would be a good play to look at but again analyze the charts and then take a call on them so what needs to be done in my opinion buy it as a trading play and do the chart analysis etc look for 30 40 percent upside and get out you can never say that the stock would continue to go up to 300 percent most of the times people have got stuck on the higher levels and have been exiting at losses so be very careful investing into such companies i would still prefer investing into consumer stocks into a simpler businesses so this was my video on the sugar industry please like and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you can get my video straight away when i post it thanks a lot for watching